overlaying with Visual Inspect. Now that we understand the user interface and how to use Visual Inspect, let's move to overlaying. Looking back at our element, we can maximize the view by double tapping the element preview. This will enlarge the element to full screen. To begin the overlaying process, tap the augmented reality camera found in the bottom right. This will align the element in the center of the screen as well as beginning live footage from your iPad's rear camera. Reviewing the element, we can see there are four individual markers that have been built into our model. The markers, which are numbered, are designed to show the correct orientation of the element. This will prove important to correctly align our element as we continue to scan. During the live scan, tapping the screen will open a popover. This popover is used to assist in scanning the element. The first tool is the stop tool. This tool, represented by a shaded square, will stop the live camera bringing the capture to a close. The next tool is pause. This will pause the capture. Press play to resume. The third tool in the menu is the freeze tool, which will freeze and begin a detailed view of the AR. Pause and freeze perform different functions in the aspect that freeze is used to pause both the element as well as the live capture. Pause will launch the toolbars, but the live capture will remain active. The next tool is to take a still shot of what is being shown in live action. This tool also creates a new camera position element in the tree and aids to overlay manually by key points and use offline AR. Along the bottom of the popover are a series of tools to alter the view of the element. From left to right, the three cones represent different views to work with your element. Finally, the X at the end of the column is used to close the popover. Moving past the popover to the upper right corner of the live screen, we see Online RT. This states that real-time mode is engaged. Below, the green dot indicates that all markers, in this case the four on screen, are recognized. This may also appear as a red dot, which would indicate that either not enough markers are recognized, or the tolerance of the model is too high. Finally, the command located directly above the iPad home key is used to switch on and off autofocus, indicated by the presence or absence of an X. Moving back to the image on screen, we can see based on the appearance of the element that the center of the part is not correct. It is backward. After the part is aligned, the real-time image shows the part is correctly aligned. After the center of the part is placed, the alignment can be viewed and confirmed.